Now, in 1990, we joined the revolution because of our desire to return home. As you may know, during the Samuel Doe regime, the latter part, after we were very close to the, the PRC government, we had to, for some reason of dislike or whatnot, we had to go into exile and lived in exile from 1985 up to 1990. Our desire to return home was burning and we made some appeals to the government at the time under Samuel Doe and he granted uh, some sort of amnesty, amnesty to me to return. We returned in um, early June 1990. At the time the war was already on and we already had knowledge of it. But as it, as it happened there was, there was no there was no discipline, there was no guide, guide or protection in the war and it slowly, so it spilled over. And no one knew who was what at the time. But our desire to return and the oppressive regime of Samuel Dole was one of the key factors that encouraged us to support the revolution. Now, I'll give you a brief history of how it happened. We were caught up in the, the red light area after the MPFL attacked uh, uh, Painesville. And uh, just to give you some of the scenario of the things that happened in Liberia and the cause of the crisis, the general attitude of individuals and how they, how they responded to their people. When the MPFL fighters arrive in Painesville, remember when they arrive in any town, the first group of people they come in contact with are members of the Lumpen proletariat class. Let me explain that. The members of the Lumpen proletariat class in society constitute hooligans, vagabonds, prostitutes, homeless wanderers, and vagrants. These are the people that are out in the streets. When the guns are firing, most of the people go into their homes, and these are the only people that are out there and come in contact with the fighters, primarily. Two days after Painesville was attacked, I was in my home, and there was beating on my gate. After uh, uh, the shooting, we had the gates locked, and there was beating on my gate. Who came into my gate? My houseboy came into my gate with about five or six armed men of the MPFL. Now, I'm saying this to say that if I was someone who was terrible or bad in the neighborhood or awful to my houseboy, I would have been a dead man and I wouldn't be here today. Most people in this country got killed or attacked wounded or injured as a consequence of their own attitude and their interaction with their fellow men in their neighborhood. Many people can bear me out that some people died as a consequence of social problems. Some people died because they did not give people jobs and they walk up on them with guns. Some people died because of family disagreement, misunderstanding, misrepresentation and a lot of misinformation. But be that as it may, these are some of the problems that are prevailing and still prevailing today in our society. These are the root cause of the problem. Oppression, suppression, and indignation. Now most of the time you can see that the formation of warring factions depended on a lot of things. It depended on a group of people that were being pursued or that were being hoisted out of the country or segregated against. They went out in their burning desire to return home. They organized themselves into warring groups to come and fight, not realizing the, the, the collateral damage to the citizenry and the population. 